that fund is, uh, uh, and especially that INAM program, it's fully taught in English. We have students from all over the world. And it's quite actually not that old uh, program. It's only offered from September 2014. Yeah, keep, keep, click on. But we have also a Dutch uh, version of it. And that consists more than uh, already 40 years. So actually we have a more or less a proven track record. Uh, what, uh, what companies expect from, from our students. And uh, that track record we applied to the industrial engineering and management. So, um, so basically, um, well, it, it is a brand new uh, study, but actually not as new as, as you think. With INM, we spread those exams. So we don't have uh, those, those exams in one week, but we have a couple of, let's say one or two exams in week uh, number four, uh, one uh, exam in week seven, one week in week 10 and so on. So that will really help in achieving, uh, well, it's kind of a study success for our students. We also have uh, more than 20 nationalities and um, that, uh, as already said, that helps you also in developing a more global uh, well, person. And when you have uh, completed uh, our study and you want to work in the industrial engineering uh, field, then you get the highest starting salary here in the Netherlands. It is uh, based on an independent research. And, but if you, uh, 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 you can also uh, well continue on studying, but uh, if you want to go for work, then most of the students find a job within two months of uh, of graduation. We uh, we have a project based uh, study program. That means uh, you will uh, do projects with uh, with with the group, and the group consists of five to six uh, students. And uh, those students are guided by a coach, a mentor. Um, but we have also, besides those group projects, we have also individual projects like internships, like graduation, um, but also some individual courses. Yeah? And also for that, you will get a code. Yeah? We, uh, we provide, uh, yeah, traditional classes and where you get the theory uh, explained and those theory is also uh, also applied in the different uh, exercises using workshops um, yeah you can click on click on yeah and uh, well also with company visits you get a very good view on uh, on the study itself our study that is uh, has a kind of a uh, not a philosophy but uh, we call it motor, and that means that we, it is a balanced company management. So we really think that um, that when you look at the company, that company is uh, you can divide it in four parts. One part is about mankind, uh, and the other one is organization technology and economics. So if you work in a company, then you have to deal with people. As I said, the industrial engineering and management is a kind of a management uh, study. So somehow in the end, you will have to lead persons. You have to guide them as well. So you have to know how to deal with those. And you also uh, deal with, let's say, changes. Uh, well, um, and you see that also with the, with the Corona uh, pandemic, uh, you you have to adapt with an organization. Uh, so you, the the persons they have to change as well. Uh, so the organization needs also to be changed. Uh, so you have uh, yeah you have to deal with with organization as well. And as I said, industrial engineering and management is focused on technical companies. So technologies plays quite a big role. 
um, so you learn about about technology but what most students also what most potentials think that we really are let's say with machines etc no that is actually not true uh, we learn about how to work with machines that we will do in the first year but uh, it's more about that you know uh, well what what does it need to get persons working with machines how to organize that that they that the factory is equipped with with machines and with machines etc so yeah and in the end every every decision that you take in a in a company has kind of an economic impact so you learn about about economics as well and that is what we think so if you if you focus on on motor then uh, well then you can actually uh, run the whole uh, company next yeah so this is a uh, and so we focus uh, equal attention to it and we have different kinds of studies. We click on, and so we uh, talk about cult, uh, corporate culture. Uh, we try to solve problems in a systematic way. Um, click on, yeah. So we have therefore uh, methods and techniques. We certainly learn how to work with each other. And you'd think, well, that is quite easy. No, it is not. Working together is quite difficult and um, but in the end when you when you learn how to work together in, in, in a very effective way then you also know how to work in companies because in companies you always will work in a team so so somehow the collaboration is is, is there anyway and as i said you have to deal with changes and uh, yeah and we will analyze processes and, and company pro, uh, problems, and you will try to find a solution for that. Yeah, and find a solution. Well, that's basically basically it's it's easy when you have a thematic approach for that, because then you can categorize those those uh, those uh, problems, those uh, those uh, challenges in a good way and you can approach them in, in, in a thematic approach okay but also you will develop different kind of competences so what does it take you to uh, well to become a good uh, industrial engineer that is uh, all different kind of, uh, of of courses that you will follow so in the end uh, you will be trained to become an all rent expert in business uh, engineering and um, that really helps to uh, to uh, to companies to improve themselves. So that is what you are going to do. So together with teachers, other students, and and the companies, uh, you know about the motor, uh, uh, how to uh, and how to benefit the the companies to them. Okay. So what is an educational structure? If you look on the first year, then you can see that it's basically divided in two parts. The first part is about technology and organization. You see that in quarter one and quarter two. Each quarter stands for 10 weeks of work. And quarter three and quarter four is about economics and mankind. So if you click on. The project one, then you learn about the basics of, uh, of industrial, industrial engineering and management. So you learn about what is production technology and what are the materials. And that is a project. Well, we, uh, you, you learn that by disassembling a household appliance. A household appliance like a coffee maker machine or a... Um, or a uh, hair dryer or, or, or different uh, appliance. You take that apart, you check what kind of material is it made of, and you want to uh, enhance that appliance with the new innovations. And you learn how to, let's say, make a cost price calculation of that. So um, when you have done the project one, then you are going to project two. So again, uh, 10 weeks of project. And then you learn 
what do you need to do when a factory wants to expand? So if you have a very small company, well, then you can, let's say, maybe easily do it in the backyard, uh, the production. Uh, but if you really want to uh, scale up, then you have to make a, a big investments in investments like a, a building or machines. And what about the persons? How many persons do you need to, uh, to scale up? That is what you learn in, in the factory expansion. And in project three, then you learn you know, what if not everything is okay with the, with the company. So there you learn how to save a company from going bankrupt. And that is what you will do by doing a new product design. And that is all about economics, how to survive actually. That is also what you see in, the, in this corona situation. A lot of companies is really trying to get, uh, uh, well, get survived. And I'll get to, it's good to know how to, how to do that in, in the best way. And project four is there you learn how to deal with changes. And changes happens every day. And uh, somehow you have to deal with it. So if you want to, let's say, study from uh, coming from Indonesia to, to the Netherlands, then there's also a change. Different persons, uh, different transportation methods, etc. So somehow also there you will see that you have to adapt. When you have finished your first year, then you're going to the second year. And the second year, they have two projects, but each project is not uh, 10 weeks, but it is uh, 20 weeks. And those projects, they are really dealt with, they are really dealt with uh, within a real company. As you saw in, in, the, in, the, in the first year, that is dealt in, is there a question? No? Okay. Um, in the second year, you are dealing in those projects with real companies. And in the first year, you're dealing with, with let's say, fictitious uh, companies. Um, and uh, in the first half year of year two, you are going to improve uh, a process at the company. You did also together with, uh, with a group of uh, five, six students. Yeah, you can continue. Yeah. And uh, in the second half of the second year, you are dealing uh, about, about market research. So you do a project for a company where you do a market research uh, with their customers. So you listen what can be better. For example, maybe those customers have a lot of complaints uh, so you will check what is going on, or uh, well, maybe they have uh, wishes. Uh, so you will uh, yeah, listen to to the customers what what they want, and you will report it back to uh, to the company. When you have uh, done your third year, or oh, sorry, your second year, and you're moving towards the third year, and the, the third year is uh, is one part is a minor. And the other part is an internship. And this is uh, where you actually have to show yourself. And because in the first two years, it was more or less uh, a lot of projects together with, uh, with the group. But in the third year, you really do it all by yourself. So there you will apply in the internship what you have learned in the previous two years and in, in the minor. Uh, well, you can do uh, something that is totally different from IM. And so you can actually learn, try to learn a new language like Spanish or Russian or whatever. And that is what you can do in, in a minor. But you can also uh, well, try to improve your uh, IM uh, skills in going in depth minor, in the so called OPEX minor that we provide. We will talk about later on. Um, when you have done your, your third year, then you're moving towards the fourth year. 
And in the fourth year, you start first with, with a project, uh, with, with a group again, and it's about developing new strategy uh, and also with international businesses. And the last part of project four, that is your graduation uh, uh, internship. So there you develop uh, well a project uh, at the company by yourself. Okay. So we, you see the, here that we have a lot of uh, a lot of interaction with with real companies, and that makes it so much fun, because in the end you will work in a company later on, and when you compare it to a research university then you hardly see a, a, let's say, a company from inside. It's all about theory and all about the models. At, at Applied Sciences University, we apply the, the theory and the models towards real practical, uh, practical projects and, uh, and, uh, and assignments. You deal with customers. I click on. Uh, yeah, you will uh, uh, buy raw materials, for example, in a purchase department. Uh, you can click on. Uh, so basically, you uh, based on on your uh, on your work, you will dealing with a lot of uh, activities. Uh, click on. You just see a list of uh, of all kinds of things that you uh, that you are doing, so you will be very busy, but you are very sure that whatever you do, you will have a huge impact on the on the company, and that is basically what a lot of students like. They want to have an impact on uh, on uh, yeah on on companies. So, but if you don't want to. Uh, go directly into the working uh, environment, then you can do a master's. Uh, so uh, at the TOE campus, we have the, the TOE, the research uh, uh, university, you can uh, do a, a master's like operational management uh, logistics or innovation management or, uh, or different, um, uh, or different uh, masters. You can click on. Also, uh, Fontis provides some, some masters like in, in international logistics or procurement, but you can also choose a master's from another university, like the Tilburg University is also uh, very well known. Okay. But in the end, um, well, of course, first thing is first. So um, first you want to get a diploma and uh, with our study, you get a diploma as being a bachelor. Okay. Because uh, this is a not really engineering study, as I said, huh? but engineering study is really about technical, uh, um, technical matters, uh, how about really about developing a, a product, for example, in mechanical engineering. Um, but th this study is more about a managerial study. So therefore, it is a Bachelor of Science. Are there any mm -hmm. other questions? What are the requirements for the application? Well, the first requirement uh, is actually the only requirement is that you get your high school diploma. Um, we have a lot of questions from students. They, they ask, uh, we, we, we don't have anything done with economics or with maths before. Is that necessary? Yes, it is handy if you have, uh, let's say, some, uh, some knowledge about it, but it's not really necessary. Uh, we provide uh, the, the, those two courses. Uh, at a very basic starting uh, level. Uh, so you will get the chance to really, uh, really get the knowledge that is up to uh, a, a certain point uh, to, uh, well, to study uh, uh, with that. Uh, you said that later on we can have internship 
uh, like anywhere in the world, for example, like before at Australia or maybe uh, back to our country. Uh, mm -hmm. My question is that what kind of specific task do we have to do and in what way will we submit it later on to the university? Well, you are always guided by a coach. So when you do a, um, a, a internship at a, a company at, outside of, of, of the Netherlands, and then uh, the contact will be using Teams, Microsoft Teams. Uh, um, and what you are going to do is actually to apply what you have learned in the first two years, you apply that into your project. And that project is an INM project. You want to improve uh, a company processes. For example, there was one girl from Oman. Uh, she went back to her home country where she helped a company organizing the shop floor. So what's, what she saw when she joined there, uh, that they have a lot of tools. Uh, they are all spread across the whole, uh, the whole uh, workshop um, or on the shop floor. And she organized it using the, uh, the five S methods. Uh, so that everything is organized, neat, and precise. And that is what she, uh, she delivered. So she, she organized that, she, she planned everything, she bought everything to organize it. And then uh, well, she developed that. And the outcome is, of course, uh, for the company, uh, yeah, the, in, in a nice and tidy shop floor. But for Fontis, it would be a, a, a paper uh, showing what kind of steps is taken, and uh, and and that that is being assessed by by two professors. So uh, there we will check, uh, yeah, if the steps are taken in the correct way. Uh, what are the let's say the the proofs, uh, etc.